I'm sorry, we have no vacancies today. We're fully booked. There are some other hotels up the street. Do you know anything about them? Can you recommend another hotel? Well, there's the Union Hotel. If you noticed a police patrol wagon in front of the Union Hotel, it was nothing to worry about. Yes, they were picking up a man who had fallen in front of the hotel, but there was no foul play. It was just a hot night, and presumably a drunken patron in the hotel was sitting in the windowsill to cool off a bit. And nobody actually saw him fall from the window, but that's the best explanation given for his broken spine. There's the Duluth Hotel. Well, it goes without saying that contagious diseases can spread and cause a lot of problems, but the circumstances of what just happened at the Duluth Hotel were very peculiar indeed. A Norwegian laborer was staying there, and he caught a bad case of the flu. He sought to medicate himself by drinking cheap whiskey, and he became increasingly drunk in the process. For no apparent reason, he decided to go down into the lobby and begin beating up the hotel's proprietor. The police came and arrested him for disorderly conduct, so I think that the hotel has quieted down quite a bit. There's the laborer's rest. I don't know if you're a union man or not, but there's been some labor disputes over at the laborer's rest recently. You probably know there's a railroad strike going on with the Omaha Road Railroad. Many of the striking railroad men are staying at the laborer's rest. The problem came when a representative of the railroad, a man named Leonard, was talking with the landlady in the lobby trying to make accommodations for the strike breakers. A union-affiliated hotel guest named Luth overheard their conversation and punched Leonard in the face. Leonard responded by shooting Luth at close range. And once Luth was down on the floor, he continued to shoot. He squeezed off four more shots. Strangely, he was later acquitted of Luth's death. If you get a room over there, don't talk about strikes or unions or anything like that, and you should probably be just fine. There's the Rising Sun Hotel. I have it on good authority that there's a room that's now vacant at the Rising Sun Hotel. A guest just committed suicide over there. He had told his wife that he was going to kill himself, but she didn't take him very seriously, and he was determined to prove her wrong. The hotel porter came to the room and found that the man had kicked back a bottle of strychnine that's designed to kill wolves. It said so right on the label, along with a flask of whiskey that he used to wash it all down. I understand that they've cleaned the room, and now it's available, so you might want to go over there. There's the Christiana Hotel. Sometimes travelers who are either short on dough or if there's a shortage of rooms available decide to share a room with a stranger. This doesn't work out so well all the time. And that's just what happened to a Mr. Pearson over at the Christiana Hotel. The first two nights went well enough. But on the third night, his new acquaintance stole $11 from him and disappeared. I suggest avoid sharing room with strangers. And that would be my primary advice. There's the Minnesota House Hotel. Personally, I think that the recent concerns about arson fires in Lower Town have been very exaggerated, and they shouldn't really be that much concern for able-bodied travelers, particularly those who are smart enough to get rooms on the first floor or the second floor, just in case that arsonist returns. The police haven't caught the firebugs, but it did receive quite a bit of attention when they torched the shed behind the Minnesota house. The staff is aware of the problem, and they're keeping an eye out, so I think that it's fairly safe. I'm sorry we weren't able to offer you a room tonight, but at least I hope that you find a safe place to stay and don't have to sleep in the gutter or some dangerous hotel. To stay updated about dangerous places in the city, you may want to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay fully informed. Until next, safe dreams and safe travels.